All right, guys, quick little Tuesday night update for you. And if I sniffle during this, I do have a cold. But anyway, I wanted to update you on what is going on. First of all, I've had a lot of comments on my last video, and I think even the one before that, and messages and a few emails about, about getting the Bronco painted. And last week and even up to this morning, I was thinking I might be able to get it painted tomorrow. But it's only supposed to be, I think, the middle 50s tomorrow and then later tomorrow rain. Thursday's supposed to be in, the, I think, the lower to middle 50s and rain. Um, I made the executive decision this morning. I'm not painting the Bronco till next spring. And I've had a lot of people, and I appreciate the support on this, that, you know, they've been telling me, you know, don't risk it. Wait till spring. Had one one guy uh, just a little while ago, a couple hours ago, I think, made a comment on it that do it when I think is best. You know, don't mess anything up. And you know, that's that's right. I don't want to mess anything up because I got a lot of time into this thing, and I don't want to. I don't want to have to sand this all down, reprimer it repaint it all the work not just the work but you know the time and work not just that but the expense it uh you know i'm the one paying the bill on this thing and i don't want to have to uh i don't want to have to do it twice so i've decided that it's going to wait until the temperatures warm up in the spring i think what's going to happen my plan is anyway tomorrow going to uh I'm gonna pull the Bronco out of here. I'm gonna stick it over in the old shop, and that where that's where she's gonna sit for the winter. Um, gonna bring my pickup back in here where she belongs. Really like to get it back in here because it's a lot more environmentally controlled in here. And I think one of the first things I'm going to do. Oh, she needs a bath. I may see if I can get her washed off before I put her in here, but. Uh, one of the first things I'm, I'm going to do, and you probably, well, maybe you can see it. Take care of that little issue down there. I'm not sure what's going on there. I haven't been picking away at it or anything yet. Might have some rust down there. I think I fixed that fender when I got it. It's a factory Ford fender. I'm not going to put aftermarket fenders on this truck. So I have to see what's going on there. Pretty sure it's in a spot that if there is, is some crud going on down there, I can get it fixed. And uh, this is Raptor liner down there, if you don't know that. Respray this little area with Raptor liner and everything should be okay. So that's what's going on there. That's the first thing I wanna do on the truck. Second thing is I'd like to find a straight axle Dana 44 and go through it, maybe totally rebuild it. I like to regear this truck to a lot of people say with 35s they're happy with 456 gears um had other people say they're happy with 410s i'm thinking i'm maybe splitting the difference and doing 430s so we'll see we'll uh that's kind of what i'm thinking right now but anyway have a couple other things rolling around in my head but i'm just not going to elaborate on that right now we'll just have to see what happens so, anyway, that's what's going on with the Bronco and what's going on with the truck. going to mention here real quick, if you haven't subscribed to my barbecue channel, the Fox Shop Barbecue, where I do all of the cooking down here in the shop, I'm uh, going to have some videos coming out on that. I know some of you have already hopped over there. And I'm going to be doing something tomorrow. I've been testing out some things. Um, made some onion rings, which isn't really barbecue. The, the next probably two, three videos I do may not really be barbecue or smoking. Um, but first time for making onion rings. I did that yesterday. They turned out, they were really, really good. 
but I think I need to tweak the recipe just a little bit, get the breading to stick on the onion a little better. I, I think I know what I need to do. Anyway, that, um, if you like crab ragoon, I'm making those, and also pork egg rolls, which I've never made before. So anyway, those are coming up on that channel. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, hop on over there, the Fox Shop Barbecue, I'm going to be doing a lot on there. I made, uh, I did smoke some turkey wings. I made a video on that, but I haven't uploaded it. Haven't put it in the editor yet. I'm not sure I'm going to upload. I don't, I don't think it turned out real good, but the turkey legs turned out amazing. My daughter really, really, really liked them. So I may get some more of those and make a better video on that. But that's what's going on here, guys. Not a whole lot at the moment. Um, hey, if you're interested in a new, uh, a new sweatshirt or zipper hoodie or t-shirts or anything, I have, have a few different designs on these things. Uh, you can head over to, uh, I think it's linked, uh, I don't, my, maybe I can link it down below. I know on some of my other videos it is, and there's also a little, little banner across the bottom. It'll take you right there. But, uh, anyway, guys, that's what's going on. With the Bronco, she's not going to get painted till next spring. It's not very far away, guys, but I just don't want to... I really don't want to risk it. Um, I know people paint in the winter, but I don't paint vehicles all the time. I, I'm just not sure what I can and can't do. I think the, I think the reducers that I have um, aren't really for cooler weather. As far as setting up the paint booth, heating up the shop, and doing all that, I think I've decided I just, I just don't want to do that for a couple of reasons. Um, one, running these heaters around that kind of paint is not real smart. And even though I'd have a paint booth set up in here, fans blowing it out that way, I'm sure there's going to get some overspray drifting out into here and uh, running these heaters and stuff. If it would happen to get a little foggy in here, not a good idea, and I don't want to get overspray all over stuff in here. So I just decided I'm gonna wait till next spring, and as soon as the temperatures warm up enough, we're gonna get back on the Bronco. Maybe we need a little break from the Bronco anyway. Um, and like I said, I have a, I, yeah, we'll see what happens here, guys. I got uh, I got a couple other ideas for the for the next few months anyway. So, if anybody wants this quarter panel over here, if you're not too far away, uh, be happy to make you a deal on that. But anyway, guys, that's uh, that's what we're doing. So we're gonna get back in in action here. I know I haven't been putting up a lot of videos. It's been kind of really trying to decide what the heck I want to do, watching the weather, and I don't know. There for a while, I, I thought I would get it painted, but uh, I think I think it's in my best interest to just hold off right now. If it, if painting, you know, painting vehicles was something I did every day, and I've done this before, and know what I can and can't do, that might be one thing. But I don't. And I, I really don't want to screw something up. So we're going to hold off on it just a little while. Yeah, what else is going on? Oh, I don't think I ever told you. Well, it's not, not even out here right now. Uh, Weiss Tahoe, which I don't know if you really have a lot of interest in that, but it blew a brake line. Took that up. Her brother back in her hometown has a uh just a small he he buys and sells cars a little small car lot up there and he has a garage with a hoist and that darn brake line i took a look at it before harvest it wrapped up i mean it wrapped clear up around and then up on top of the frame i couldn't even see the darn thing i tried to get the spare tire down it would drop down if you know how those work but it wouldn't release so i said the heck with it I told her i'd take a look at it after harvest and anyway long story short uh we uh 
we gave him the Ferrari, that little red Eclipse. We traded that for him to fix it and he got it all fixed up and everything lubed up. He went over the whole vehicle. So she's good for the winter. She wanted her Tahoe four wheel drive for the winter. So she's got that. He's got that little red car, which he's giving to his son. His son has a really nice Mustang, but doesn't really want to go park it up in the college parking lot. So um, he's going to drive that little, he's going to drive the Ferrari up there. So anyway, guys, like I said, if you haven't checked out the barbecue channel, going to be a lot of videos going up on there. Uh, it's just something else I like to do. So I thought, hey, why not make videos on it? Go ahead and check it out. Please subscribe. Trying to build that channel up. Not very big at the moment, but uh, if you like that kind, of th if you like that kind of thing, go check it out. Had a little little uh, brain freeze there, but anyway, guys, that's what's going on. Also, James over at Central Oregon Shenanigans bought a new toy. He bought a 70, what year is that thing? 78 uh, flare side, flare side, step side. I'm not sure what they called them in the 70s, I guess. But he bought that for his son and going to be redoing that. So if you're interested in that, go over to Central Oregon Shenanigans, check that out. And just a little, little glimpse here. I might be going back out there in a couple of months and helping them with that. So, uh, anyway, guys, that is what's up on this Tuesday night. This actually went a lot longer than I thought it would. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.